Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is really epic title screen music. I gotta turn it down, hold on. Happy Wednesday morning, everybody. So good to see each and every one of you. It's raining here in the Pacific Northwest. Thank God, I'm so glad. We have had smoke in the air for the past couple of days. Uh, it was so bad that uh, my kid's camp was canceled on Monday. I think I told you that. But uh, it rained this morning, which knocked a lot of that smoke out of the air. I'm hoping that the wildfires in Canada and eastern Washington are abating. And um, it's good to see that the air is a lot clean. Congratulations to Jersey, our latest mod in the chat. I believe he asked to become a mod uh, either last live stream or a couple live streams ago, and I intended to do it, but then I got sidetracked by answering questions and I forgot. Sorry, Jersey. Uh, but there you go, he's now a mod. Uh, been a, he's a gold derby, been around for a long time, and it's good to have another mod helping the team out. I've got the best mods on YouTube, I really do consistent and always of sound judgment. I'm a really, really lucky broadcaster. Wade Speakerman gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Wade. And congratulations to Kim, Tara Smith, The Dark Clarine, uh, Matt Belloc, and Sean Swang. Uh, congratulations to all of you who got a free membership and thank you so much from Wade. In gaming news, I read recently that, uh, okay, you know, we live streamed every single Metro game here on the channel. Um, Metro, Metro, Last Light Redux, Metro Exodus, and loved every moment of it. Um, but uh, recently, the author of the books from which the games were inspired uh, was um, charged by Russia and a sentenced to eight years in prison. Uh, why? For tweets, that's right. He did not go along with the Kremlin's special operation message and he uh, stood against them and, and outrightly or outright rejected their entire story and has uh, been a, a staunch proponent of Ukraine in this whole situation. And for that, he was charged uh, and indicted or whatever. He's supposed, if he ever gets caught, he's gonna spend eight years in prison. Thankfully, he's been living abroad for quite some time. Uh, I know he spent some time in Israel learning Hebrew, not sure where he's at now, but hopefully he'll remain in exile at least until this whole nasty uh, business is over so that he doesn't suffer at the hands of the Kremlin. But uh, it's also good to know that uh, one of the authors of my favorite franchises uh, at least has his head on straight when it comes to these political machinations that we're all living through today. Hope you had a wonderful Tuesday. I made great progress yesterday on my lore video. And uh, the lore video that I'm working on for the weekend is actually one of the most complicated of this entire railroad series. It's uh, what consumed the most time when I sat down to do all of, uh, to capture all of the footage. If you'll recall, before I started this um, railroad series, it took me far longer to capture all the footage necessary than it typically did, than it did for the Institute story that I did. And the reason for that is going to be explained in the video that I published this weekend, if I get it done. Just to, to make a long story short, there are so many side quests and radiant side quests for the railroad that aren't organized neatly in the game. They're chaotic. They're one after each other, and then you gotta do this before you unlock that, and there are unwritten rules about the order in which you need to do them if you want to unlock Ballistic Weave and all this nonsense. Which I suppose makes sense from the perspective of the railroad, since the railroad is supposed to be in utter chaos, as they're a fractured organization. They had to go underground. The switchboard was destroyed. All of their safe houses are being hunted. So uh, to, to expect order in the railroad at this point of their history, I, I suppose would be a bit too much to expect. But it was really challenging to capture all that footage, especially 
since so many of the random uh, destinations that these quests send you to are huge, sprawling dungeons with absolutely no railroad lore that you still got to get through in order to complete the quest to move on to the actual railroad lore. So, took a lot of time to capture that footage, and I'm putting that story together now. It's I, it was funny because it's like 16 hours worth of footage that I'm condensing into like a 30-minute video. <laughs> It's, it's taken some time, but I think I'm going to be able to do it, and it's going to be a big payoff, and it's a fun story, too. So I'm looking forward to that, and I hope you are as well. Julian Z with a super chat says, Good morning, Ox. So good to see you on this Baldur's Wednesday. Hope you're well. Eight days, six hours, and 35 minutes until Starfield. Did you check out the timeline and the GamesCon live action trailer? So excited. I uh, I saw some tweets about the live action trailer, but I didn't actually look at it yet. That's my bad. I should probably look at it so I can actually comment on it during broadcast. Um, but I am, I am very excited. I'm glad that we didn't start another game, that we stuck with Baldur's Gate, so that we don't have two games that, I've li that, that I've, have been live streaming that we're going to have to wrap up after Starfield. If there will even be an after Starfield. I mean, if Starfield is as good as we all hope, I, I plan to be playing Starfield for quite some time. Much in the way that I played Fallout 76 for literally months um, after it launched. But we'll see. Mr. Master Chief says, Can't wait for the Starfield to come out a few days. I'm so literally want to play. Right now my itchy finger are ready to pull new guns they have. Well, thank you, Mr. Master Chief. I also am itching to play Starfield. I can't wait. Julian Z says, also, Ox, have you heard the what some of the reviewers are saying? They report few bugs so far, and even though it starts off slow, it's just to teach you all the game mechanics before the game really opens up. I'm totally cool with the game starting off slow. I, I'm so cool with that. That doesn't bother me at all. I want them to take their time introducing me to a completely new universe. This is a brand new IP. It's not, you know, the Fallout universe in 200 years. It's not the Skyrim Elder Scrolls universe in 200 years or whatever. It's a completely new universe, new characters, new factions, new stories. I'm fine with them taking their time and allowing us to explore slowly so that we can come to grips with the lore. I want to understand this world before I, we step into it, and that's great. I love it. Um, now, that said, as thrilled as that makes me, and it does thrill me. Trust me, Julian. I am thrilled. I don't know if you can tell. But as thrilled as that makes me, remember what the reviews for Cyberpunk 2077 said before the game was released. It was near unanimous that the game was amazing. How could that have happened, right? It's just... How could every single reviewer, the trusted reviewers, the game magazines, even the trusted YouTubers who were reviewing this game all said it was great and it had significant issues upon launch? I'm not predicting that for Starfield. I'm not. I'm just saying that we should all just, you know, meet our expectations a little bit. Just under, we can have hope. Hope is great. We can be thirsty for the game. That's also great. But we also need to understand that if history teaches us anything, it's that AAA game launches as of late are going to disappoint us. So if our expectations aren't too high, we will be less disappointed. All that can happen is if we, you know, have uh, uh, realistic expectations and the game is as excellent as they promise, then all we're going to be is thrilled, right? Uh, Junk41 says, beware of leaks of Starfield. Don't get spoiled. Thank you, Junk41. I will try not to. Slatty Bartfast says, hi, Ox. Hope you and yours are well. Have you decided on a streaming schedule for Starfield? Inquiring minds need to know. Play on good, sir. I haven't really spent much time thinking about it. My plan is just to play the game as much as I possibly can. Um, it's a really awkward time for me because this game is coming out right when my kids are starting school. 
And uh, it's a huge busy week. We've got kids starting bands and sports and, you know, clubs they got to join and brand new schools and new friends. And I've got to be there for a lot of that. I want to be there for a lot of that. Uh, so I'm, I don't know how that's going to impact my streaming schedule, which is why I don't have anything set in stone right now. But my plan for when Starfield releases is to play as much as possible. That might be every day if I can uh, do it. That might be six to eight hours a day if I can do it. It all depends on what that day looks like. And I'm really not going to know until the day, right? So I wish I could give you a little bit more foreshadowing as to what's going to happen with my streaming schedule, but really, I'm not even going to know what I'm going to be able to do until the day of broadcast, and at that time, I'll just go live. So, yeah, we'll be exploring Starfield together, never fear. If you miss a broadcast, it's going to be live on my channel. Uh, I'm not taking them down, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Courtney Zayas says, how has the new puppy been? Can we see him? Much love, Ox. I showed him off on the broadcast on Monday. He's doing very well. He's getting big. He's still very much a ravenous little raptor. Uh, <laughs> he's outside right now with his big brother, and they're safe in a contained yard. Uh, but they're romping and rolling and playing. They had breakfast, and they had water. So they're doing really good, but I, I'm not going to go out and get him right now because I'm going to be playing the game. Hopefully, we'll be able to show him off on camera soon. Jural Von Torval says, Oh, I missed the start of the stream, Ox. You aware they released intro for a Fallout show on Twitter? Los Angeles, Vault 33, coming 2024. Oh my god, I did not know that. I am going to have to check that out. Yeah, I haven't been on Twitter lately. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll check that out. So it's confirmed, Los Angeles. And it's confirmed, Vault 33. And it's as we suspected. We thought it was going to be on the West Coast based on the uh, the number of the vault, Vault 33, that they released. 2024, so we got to wait another year. Maybe less, depending on when in 2024. Uh, okay, I can, I can wait for that. Uh, th that's fine. This gives me a chance to get through Starfield, really sink my teeth into the game, get to understand it, start producing content for it. And then maybe when I'm, I've got myself in a good rhythm for Starfield, the Fallout show can come out and I can start to sink my teeth into that and produce content about it as well. So this is good news. Thank you, Gerald Von Torval. Gustavo Plays says, I don't trust reviewers, not because I think they're bought, but because they are human, they get tied up in the hype and the excitement too much. That's a great attitude to have. They, they really do. I mean, there were so many people who trusted CD Projekt Red and who uh, wanted Cyberpunk to just be this amazing game. And that did color many reviews. I mean, if, I, I don't even know if, if people re remember the atmosphere in the gaming community before that came out. Like, there were even people who were burned by the Fallout 76 thing and we're sitting here saying, uh, take a back seat there, Bethesda. CD Projekt Red is going to teach you how to do a AAA game release, yada, yada, yada. And then, and then this happened, right? I remember uh, on the, the day the game was released, I, I was there. I played the game as soon as it was available on Steam. And uh, <laughs> within 30 minutes of playing the game, there were huge graphical issues in the deserts outside the city that forced me to end the broadcast. I couldn't continue playing until they addressed that issue, which they fixed, thankfully, before my next broadcast. But it was it was just an absolute mess. And none of the reviews picked up on it. Like, literally none of them picked up on it before the game was was launched publicly and players began to express their displeasure. Also, it just, you know, it's one of those things where sometimes it's not just the reviewer's fault. Sometimes they are given a version of the game by the developer that conveniently hides all of the dirty bits, all of the things that still need work. I'm not saying, uh, I'm not accusing Bethesda of doing that because I have no idea. I haven't been given access to the game early. I haven't reviewed it. I don't know what it looks like. But there are a myriad of reasons uh, why we should uh, not necessarily trust reviews of the game before the game has actually been released. Reviews of the game that are much more trustworthy are reviews that come out, you know, a week or so after the game has been publicly available. Those are the ones that are much more nuanced, that 
uh, have given the, the reviewer much more time to be able to dive deeper into the game and capture more footage and explore it more thoroughly and give it a better review. So I, when, when I watch reviews for games, I, I tend to watch reviews uh, that have been published long after the game has been released live, after all of the hotfixes have been released, all of the uh, necessary tweaks have been made, so that we actually get a review of the game as it is going to be for the vast majority of people who are going to play it. But that said, I don't want to ruin anybody's good time. If you're hyped for Starfield, that's amazing. Stay hyped for Starfield. I also am going to be hyped with an asterisk. That's all. Mr. Jocked became a bronze ox. Thank you so much, Mr. Jocked. All right, let me refresh Facebook here and see what's going on. Thank you so much, Mr. There we go. Good to see you, Sean, Toby, Jared, Douglas, Stephen, Ruby, Harold, Alicia. Hope you're all having a good day as well. Let me stretch this out. Grant Snyder says, I look forward to Starfield. I'll sit out for the streams till I hear the game is fixed. Anticipate many problems. You know, it might have many problems and it might not, you know, maybe Bethesda has learned a lot of lessons over the many, many years that they've been making some of the best selling video games on the market and they've refined their well-oiled machine to the point where they can iron out and nail many of these bugs before release. Maybe they've realized that the PR hit that the company suffers uh, when they release a game that doesn't meet expectations is worse than the revenue that they lose by extending the launch date by another six months uh, that are necessary to iron out all the bugs. And then because of all of that, maybe when we get the game, it's going to be uh, essentially bug-free. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm not expecting that to be the case, but I'm also not expecting it to be riddled with bugs either. I'm sitting on the fence with an asterisk, holding that asterisk and hoping for the best. All right, are you ready? Let's dive back in. Jasper Reading says, I've been watching your Baldur's Gate stream, and I noticed that Barty Horn's subclass benefits from dual wielding, but you're only using one weapon on him. Oh, is that right? <laughs> okay, I'll have to check that out. College of Swords. I don't remember choosing College of Swords. I'm assuming that's what you meant by benefiting from dual wielding. Oh my god, look at my inventory. I really gotta do something about this. I've got one rapier. Uh, do I have another one sitting in here that I can just throw on there? Scimitar, but I can't make good use of that. Pig's head. That's a very heavy pig's head. Zionide. A mace. Hello. Let's give that to her. A helmet. Constitution saving throws. Can my, uh... Yeah, looks like my cast class. Cool. Well, I'm going to miss my tricorn, but uh, a constitution saving throw, that makes it pretty awesome.
Okay, now let's see. She's got the Shattered Flail four to nine. This is one to six. Okay, so the Shattered Flail is better. And then he's got a myriad of weapons here. Uh, Steel Forge Sword. The Watcher's Guide. Is that a spear? Yeah, I think that's a spear. And then Speedy Reply. Well, if there is a way for me to equip another offhand weapon. On my bard, I don't I don't see it. That's a rapier, that's a scimitar, okay, maybe that's why. Spear, short sword. a dagger. Okay, well, I got a few items here that I could potentially use, but I can't figure out how to put it into my uh, my extra slot. Lore Revolution says you need a weapon that has the light property to dual wield. This is a lightweight sword. I don't see a light property. Light, got you. Light. So, both of these would have to be light. This is 4 to 11, but it doesn't have the light property. This is 3 to 8. Let's try and put speedy reply here, and then... There it is! Thank you, that did it! Yeah, I need to use two light weapons for this. It's a bummer, because I really enjoy the, the rapier plus one. But, uh, I think I'm going to get more damage from these two together. Now, he's got Sorrow, which is 1 to 10 damage. This is 4 to 11 damage. Can he use the Rapier? No, he can't. So we'll keep him with Sorrow. Amazing that he can use a Spear. Now, this is a Glaive. It's a two-handed Glaive, and Gale, my wizard, can use it. All right, I'll take it. Okay, when we last left our heroes, we were trying to find the old grandma, she was going to try and uh, whip us up some medicine to take that slug out of our eye. And we had come all the way down here to find her, because there she is. But uh, then we stumbled upon a goblin camp, and we had to fight our way through that. Hopefully this will take us down, and we don't have to fight too many spiders along the way. Now, I still have mage armor for Gale. Shield of faith, shield of faith. Until long rest. I wonder if I can get Shield of Faith on another one. Enemy of Justice. Wanted for killing a guard. Allied guards will attack on sight. Who did I kill? What guard did I kill? Whatever comes, I'm ready. Shin yeah, can she cast this? I see. So this must be coming from an item or a weapon that she has. Alright, he's already got that, so I'll have her cast that. Uh, is it recharging or something? I've got a long road ahead. Oh, that's recharging, too. She already has it. All 
Alright, can we sneak by without getting into the spider webs? Okay, we got a big hole over there. Oh, I know where we are. This is that big pit in the goblin camp. Now I see. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Hot foot, hot foot. Place is trapped. Well, for Pete's sake, I mean, I tried to avoid this, but then Gale just walks right into it. In situations like this, do I have to grab them one by one? To get them around it? Because that's annoying. Step carefully. There's a trap. Blast mine. That gets rid of those pesky webs. Can't give up now. Best avoid that trap. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Just barely. Watch how you go. There's a trap. All right, my dice love me today. Well, we're outside of that tunnel hell. Need to find a way forward. Oh, that looks like the grandma's shack. Oh, crap. We gotta go over there. How do we get to the grandma's shack? I'm sure you'll survive. Besides, it probably figured you for a tasty treat. Give me an abalef over a midge any day. All right, well, I can't scale the mountain. Uh, I guess we gotta go this way. Try jumping, says Mr. Jocked. I mean, that's a bit far. Hiss, ribbit, hiss. It's a bit far down to jump. I could probably jump down there. Uh, but to get down would be really perilous. Let's try going across this log bridge. I have a feeling that we're going to find a way. Because we also need we need to worry about the way back up as well. Well wait a minute. Thank you. 
path is interrupted. Can't jump over here. <clears throat> if I jumped on there, I take 11 hit points of damage. Path is interrupted, not enough space. Alright, so I probably could jump down. But I wouldn't survive the fall. Gustavo Plays says if you go directly south from the Blighted Village, you can reach down there without jumping. Really? Oh. Oh. I guess I went the long way. I guess I didn't have to go through the goblin camp. Alright, is there a way back up there? No. Okay, back to the blighted village then. I mean, we went this way last time. This is actually the first path I tried and we couldn't get down there from here. There's the log that we just crossed. There's the bridge we saw. We're gonna have to go down here. Ah. Oh. Okay, we've got some dialogue over there. Yep, this looks like it's gonna work. Rose Do you yes. harass every old woman you meet? Just tell us where she is. We don't want any trouble. But you're bloody getting some if you don't. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness uh -oh. you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. <clears throat> uh oh, okay. Well, this is the lady that we saw from the grove. And these people have stopped her asking what happened to their sister. How about you all just calm down? What's going on here? Lower your weapons. I know this lady. This has nothing to do with me. Goodbye. Or we can pass a bar check to say just because she's an old woman in a swamp, she's a hag? Lay off the fairy tales, lads. Uh, let's try that. Pass the bar check. Sweetie, be careful. He's with the hag. Don't bloody stand there gaping. Get him. Really? He's with the hag, they say. Come on. I mean, that's it. I mean, these do guys don't look tough. I don't want to have to kill them.
Is there anything I can do to like make him not hostile now? <laughs> Poison resistance, wizard bone, fire resistance. I don't want to have to kill him. And I got him. I'm heating up. In position. <laughs> and down he goes. They attacked me like. I don't know what they want from me. I mean, if only they hadn't attacked me. Uh, what happened? It sounded like a heated argument. Do you know this the Mayrina they mentioned? Uh, the best thanks are paid in gold. Let's try Do you know this Mayrina? She's their little sister. And she's staying with me. This is all my fault. But I made a promise. Mayrina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her. And my word is my bond. That poor thing will be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. Oh, I'd dear I'd best God. get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. Oh! I think there's a little something more to Ethel than meets the eye. Thank you, Gail. I'm getting that impression as well. So he, she is keeping their sister. And she asked us not to mention that we just killed her brothers. Kimosabi says, Zoxhorn, there's a non-lethal toggle for fights. What? There's a non-lethal toggle? Aha! <laughs> what? Where? Am I... Here's melee weapons set. Dual wielding. Ranged. Toggle light source. Where's the non-lethal option? <laughs> Why am I just now learning about that? You could have told me earlier before I killed her brothers. Oh, well, let's loot the dead. A baguette. Tattered letter. Dear John and Demir, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon. So not a word to ma'am, all right? She has enough on her plate. Oh, dear God. Marina. Oh, we just killed ma'am's two sons. <laughs> Why did you guys tell me there was a passive mode? I didn't know this. Oh, I'm an awful bard. Time to press ahead. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Sunlit wetlands, and that's where the hag is, <laughs> I guess. Anti-Ethel. Alright, oh, there's a boat down here. 
a loving note, and a picnic basket. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Uh-oh. Rachel says non-lethal option in passives at the bottom of the hot bar. Okay, I'll try that. Thank you, Rachel. Well, we can pass an investigation check. We've got one from intelligence and one from jack of all trades. We've got to pass a 20. Oh, this is going to be awful. Luck be a lady. Oh. No, not a lady tonight. Failure. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Okay, is the big monster gonna come out of the swamp here? Just gonna quick save. Let's get the loving note. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me, Auntie E. Oh no. What's in the basket? An apple, juicy apple, a succulent red apple that almost begs to be bitten into. Yeah, I'm getting Snow White uh, in the Evil Witch vibes here. I think I'll just leave that right there. <laughs> oh, great. Now we got to go to this lady's house. Where she's keeping someone in prison. Trap. Time to dance. And we just killed her rescuers. A trap. There's another basket. More juicy apples. Rachel says non-lethal with melee only, by the way. I see. So I can't cast non-lethal spells. More juicy apples. This has a fairy tale ending and not the good kind, more like the Brothers Grimm kind. What's with all the sheep everywhere? Just, should that mean something? Like, there are sheep, like, literally everywhere. Oh, I wish I had speak to animals. Look at all these sheep. Sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. I've got animal handling. I could say boo, leave, or, or drop my eyes and carefully reach out. Wheezing, the sheep backs away. Waypoint discovered. Hey, maybe I can try this sheep. Ba. <laughs> ba. <laughs> A straight up man's voice comes out of the sheep going, Ba. <laughs> ba. <laughs> okay, so did this. Did this lady turn people into sheep? Ancient sigil circle. All right. Riverside Tea House. Ah, this must be the old lady. There it is. Okay. Ah. <laughs> All right. Uh, are there any more clues scattered around here that I should go pick up before... Yeah, looks like this place is pretty self-contained. Let's explore this dockside area first uh, before heading to the, well, I guess we'll call her a hag now, the hag's cottage. Why are we all getting survival failed checks? What does that mean? 
Is there a snake? There's something evil around here? Why did we fail that check? What is that? What? What's going on? We didn't get hurt, so... Spike trap in the water. Ah. Ah. A spike trap in the water. Well, this place is littered with sheep and traps. I guess... I could try to disarm it, or chat said I could try to shoot it. I guess I can't shoot it underwater. To disarm it. Okay. I mean, not like I was going to wade through the water anyway. I guess as long as we stick to the land here, we're going to be okay. pretty deep. That's a bit too far for me to jump, I think. I could probably jump over here, but I don't see... Oh, I see. We could go around there. Well, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We need to go talk to this, uh, hag. Oh, a campsite. A bloody campsite. Blood. I don't like where this is going. Half eaten apple. I wonder what kind of creature could have caused so much damage. The approachable east. Got lots of good stuff. I'm not touching the apples. A loot. Scroll of Dark Vision, Scroll of Grease. Another boat. Ooh, but do we want to walk through the water? Let's tiptoe through the water. Uh, okay, there's something here. There's something here. Ripe with magic. Okay, he got across. Damn, it's good to be alive. A trap. Ah, dance. there it is. All right, at least now we can avoid it. Let's go. Here. How can I help? Whoops. Swift as my feet can carry me. Wits and blades always sharp. 
I'll take this way. Best avoid that trap. Oh, another one. Jeez. All right, we got to confront this Very lady. Well. Christina Sierra says, is your PC specs video up to date? Uh, if you mean, did I upgrade the drivers for my video card? Yes, I did. Uh, I'm assuming that my graph, that my uh, computer is going to be powerful enough to, uh, to play Starfield. But I haven't checked out the specs for it yet. Um, the PC part picker list in the description of all of my videos shows you exactly what I've got. So if you want to double check to make sure I can play Starfield, you're welcome to check. I think I'll be all right, though. All right, hold on. That leads to the cottage. Where's this guy? It's an alternate path. Hmm. Right. Let's explore the environs. Oh. Gandalf. Quick save. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the uh, aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Interesting. Who are you? I prefer a weapon to a stench, thanks. So you're a monster hunter, not what I imagined. Whatever you're hunting, your stench alone will kill it. Let's uh, be polite. Who are you? Today, the same as you. A humble supplicant come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it, to bargain. The lady of this house? Why would you assume that? It's a tea house, hardly a lair. Not at all. I was invited for tea. Or my business here is my own. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's try not at all. I was invited for tea. Of course. As the spider invites the fly, you need something, I expect. And she sensed it. Her kind of hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. Hmm. And you're fool enough? What price is that? I think you're mistaken. This place looks innocent enough, or speak plainly. What is she? A powerful friend. A terrible foe. That, I cannot decide for you. For my part, I need her knowledge. The thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to flush him out, I'll pay whatever price she asks. Who is it you're hunting? Any advice on how to deal with her? I'd like to trade. Let's try who is it you're hunting? Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. We could pass a persuasion check. Maybe I can help with your hunt. Or an intimidation check. Your coyness is getting boring, tell me. Uh, let's do the persuasion check. Three from Charisma, two from Favorable Beginnings, two from Persuasion Proficiency, two from Persuasion Expertise. That's a total of nine. And then we're going to add Charm Person and Guidance. One. Yeah, a bit overkill. No, this duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Ha! Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> He's hunting Astarian. 
Uh, we've met. He's not the type to come quietly. You can give up your hut. Asterion is under my protection. What does your tribe want with a creature like that? Let's try that one. My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. And we've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. Oh my god. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again, is he known to you? Oh dear. <clears throat> well, we can say that he's under our protection or that he's not the type to come quietly. These are not the two options I want. Let's say, uh... Let's say that he's under my protection. I see. Your loyalty is admirable, but misplaced. His kind have charm beyond our mortal means to resist. I can show you who he truly is, if you will just tell me where to find him. We could tell him how to find our camp. <laughs> or I honestly don't know where he is, or I'm not going to help you find him back off, or we could attack. Pavel says, Charm Person is a level one spell, adding, costs a slot. Okay, thank you, Pavel. Yeah, that's why I decided not to do it. The description also said that it, uh, it only, th the only benefit of adding the extra slot was that it affected another person, which I didn't want to do. Um, I mean, it might be interesting to have him in the camp and, uh, you know, have a conversation between him and Asterion, but I also don't know how that conversation would turn out. By telling him how to find the camp, is he just going to come to camp and arrest Hysterion? That's not what I want. If he were just to come and have a conversation, that might be something I would do. But I don't know exactly how he would react. So I think it's too dangerous to tell him where the camp is. I'm also not going to lie to him. So I'm going to tell him that I'm not going to help him find him. Hysterion has quite the friend in you. I'll make sure he knows that at the end. It is to stand by one's friend in the face of danger. I got a lot of approval from those guys. Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. I wonder what would happen if we went back to the camp and got Asterion and brought him here to talk to Gandril. That would be preferable than taking him to the camp. Maybe I'll do that after we deal with this um, hag lady just to see what would happen. Oh, we've got a well. Fresh, sweet-smelling water gurgles gently below. We could drink from the well. It's sweet-smelling. It's also outside of a hag's house. Probably not the best idea. Let's leave. Though I kind of want to see what happens. Let's quick save. <laughs> I mean, I'm not thirsty. I have no reason to drink from it other than to just see what happens. Fresh, sweet smelling water gurgles gently below. The warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger. Faster. Better. Refreshed condition. Hit point maximum increased by 10 until the next long rest. Wow. Okay, cool. Ready and willing. Fresh, sweet smelling water gurgles gently. We're all taking a drink. The 
warm rush of pa I'd love to, thanks. Fresh, sweet smelling water. The warm rush. Can't afford to stay idle. Fresh, sweet smelling water. The warm rush. All right, we are all refreshed. Mind. Now, looks like we could jump up here and go in through the back door. Which might be preferable if we're itching for combat. But I'm itching for everything. dialogue. I kind of want to know what's going on with this lady. So maybe we'll go through the front doors. Oh, water. Nope, don't want to walk through that. Ribbit, ribbit, hiss. Addled frog. The frog's entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in pain. We could try to pass an animal handling check to say, come here, it's all right. Yay, finally! It shies away, croaking a warning, eyes wide in terror. Who's a good froggy? Don't worry, I'll leave you alone. Come when you're called, you stupid frog! Or we could leave. Let's say, who's a good froggy? Maybe it. What? I don't want to attack the frog! I passed the animal handling check! I then said, who's a good froggy? What sequence of events led to combat with the frog? <laughs> okay, I don't want to kill it. How do I do the non-lethal? You guys told me how to do it earlier. What's, what's non-lethal? Melee only, you said, right? Uh, piercing shot, lacerate. How do I, I don't want to kill the frog! What's a passive? Slashing, slashing, ranged, melee, melee, melee. Disengage? How do I disengage? At the bottom says the chat. I mean, oh, flee from combat? Bottom row, below your spells. Oh. Passives. It's a completely different tab. Cold the weak. When you bring a creature down to fewer hit points than your number of evolved illithid powers, it dies. And all nearby creatures take... Oh, I don't want to do that. Toggle non-lethal attacks. Okay. So now when I attack it, it won't die? Okay. Five percent! This frog has high defense? Wow, all right. These are my only non-lethal ones. Off-hand attack. Main-hand attack. 5%? Really? Okay. Did, did I do good? I did. Ooh, venomous discharge on Gale. Missed. Okay, let's go to passives. Passives are on. Let's do this. Ah! 
Passives are on. Nemesis. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes, the four of us, trying to kill a frog. Let's get with fire, baby. Passives are on. Jimmy on the go. Lucky reroll with advantage or relentless attack. Gosh. Miss, 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 miss. There we go. Knocked out. I defeated the frog and I managed to not kill it. We can now loot the addled frog. There's nothing on his inventory. Well, I feel so bad. This is probably a person that has been charmed or something, but at least he's alive now. Maybe once we figure out what's going on with the hag, we can come back and, I don't know, save him or something. All right, let's turn passives off now. Directly. It's been a long day. I'll need to rest soon. Making me sweat. A long way to go still. All right, what now? Interesting. Well, I learned something new. To keep going. I'm really annoyed that I I passed my, handle, my animal handling check only to attack a poor defenseless frog. Sivian Sasan uh, gave gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. <clears throat> Thank you, Sivian. And congratulations to Eric Sand, Bacon Boy, Sir Sithis, Jason P.O.S., and Jeremy M., Right, let's quick save. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Hmm? I'm not eating anything that's in God's this house. Grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Pavel says right click on an enemy to see its stats. Most opponents in later acts have resistances. Knowing them is the difference between an easy fight and a disastrous one. Okay, thank you, Pavel. All right, that's Marina. I have some bad news for her. Or you have an interesting home. Or I'm glad you got here safely. Or do all your guests... Or do you treat all your guests so poorly? Or we can skip right to it and say, you said you have something for the f for the parasite? Let's uh, comment on how poorly she's treating this guest. Hmm? You're quite right, Petal. Forgive me if I get a bit sharp. My work wears something awful on me. You see, I help people from all over Faerun. And you, Petal. Well, you need a lot of help. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Are you saying you can remove it? <clears throat> or I'm dealing with it? Or something isn't right? That woman, why is she with you? That's my question. Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. I don't like this. What's really going on here? I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. Three options, fine. Can you remove the parasite? Or I'll find another way to take care of it. Or no, this woman is clearly in trouble. 
I mean, I feel awful. We killed her brothers, and we're gonna release her and tell her that as well. <clears throat> and we lose everything. Like we don't, we don't get anything by trying to defend the woman. Um. I wonder if we can ask her to, uh, if she can remove the parasite. And then try to help the woman. Now, nope, I gotta help the girl. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. Right, Hag of the Forest, okay. Oh! It is a swamp. You now I see why- the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Okay, now I see why people were saying Hag in the Swamp in the last broadcast. Okay, okay. Outlander, Eyes of the Wild Carlin is inspired. Okay, well that took a really long time. I wonder what that was all about. Nauseated, condition vulnerable to psychic and acid damage until the next rest. All right, so something happened during that black uh, blackout. All right, she's got 112 HP. Examine. Auntie Ethel, AC of 17, resistance is none. Notable features, alert, you gain a five point bonus to initiative and can't be surprised. Dark vision, fey life, makes it easier to succeed death saving throws and opportunity attack. Automatically attack an enemy moving out of your reach. Right, well she has no resistances. That's good to know. Uh, let's do... Oh, I've got knock. I didn't realize that. Cool. hit by vicious mockery but I somehow charmed my way out of it over there Intimidation and performance checks. Is combat a performance check? Uh, your rage turns into a frenzy. You gain frenzied strike and enraged throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. Rage ends early if you don't attack an enemy or take damage each turn. You can't cast or concentrate on spells. Reckless attack. Oh, 
set up. Have to keep going. Stealth checks, sacred flame, resistance. Rosa, make yourself a target immune to frightened. Thirty uh, percent. Fifty percent. I don't fancy their chances. With haste. Gain advantage on your next attack roll. Poor Bartyhorn is looking pretty, uh, pretty rough. I didn't realize that until just now. Okay, uh, let's see. Critical miss? but I knocked her down. Sorrowful Lash pulls the creature three millimeters closer to you, or three millimeters closer to you. Can't be pulled if it's huge in size, which it is, I think, so. And turn. Ah! Well, crap! Are these the sheep? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think you can take me on. That work? Man, Cloud of Daggers is great. Okay, uh, I need to heal myself. Enjoy my well water. Ah! Uh oh, enjoy my well water. Oh, is that how I got nauseated from drinking the well water? Oh, she got away. Well, I'm glad I did uh, the thing of knives there. Missing, missing, missing. Just everything is missing.
and I don't want to get into the cloud of knives. Miss, miss, miss. One dead, the other really almost dead. Ooh, we've got another coming towards us now. Open wounds. Oh dear. Okay, am I still in combat? I am. They're coming one at a time. Ooh. Old person, Barney. Ah. What? What? Why did it do it from so far away? Old person is removed. Still breathing, despite everything. Eighty percent. Okay. I mean, he's coming for me, and I don't know which path he's going to take. I'll wait for him to get closer. Time to press ahead. A 
I'll keep her here for now. Miss, miss, miss. Good gravy. Well, at least he's missing too. Another step forward. Really? I can't hit him through there? I guess he is on the other side. All right. Got to do something about constantly missing all the time. Well, I'm hurting here. Ah, excellent choice. An ally you touch regains hit points, but possibly falls asleep. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to try that. So that's progress. Scroll of Hold Person, Scroll of Protection from Good and Evil, and Wisp Weed. How much fun I knew I, I shouldn't have drunk from the well. Oh, hi. Oop. Oh, we've got a lot of dialogue with her now. Wow. Um. I didn't realize we had all this dialogue with her. It sounds like all we need to do to fix your engine is find some infernal iron. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. How did you end up with such a contraption on your chest? The year, ten air. The place? sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a not need delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. 
She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Go on, then. Tell them. I'll meet out the best ones, bit by bit, so you always have a reason to keep me around. <laughs> clever, right? Very clever. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler-dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. What does that infernal engine do to you? Gives me energy, power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Oh. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. And that's a problem for yours truly. <laughs> we, could, so we could say, you must be pent up. Jeez, Barty Orn, calm down. What's that been like, we could say, or I wouldn't mind that myself. I've never been one too much uh, for too much contact. Well, he's definitely not that. Okay, let's say the obvious. You must be pent up. I, I try not to think about it. <laughs> I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. <laughs> Poor thing. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. Oh, that'll but be a fun time. not today. Okay, well, we were trying to loot. Jeez. Barty Horn has no shell. You must be pent up. Really? Okay, can we save this girl? I mean, the, the hag made her disappear. Uh, just as we got in here. Crude chest. Ah, uh, nope. I'm not taking any apples from this place. I'm not taking any food from this place. Now, there is a fireplace here, and that's where she retreated to. But let's loot the place first before we start uh, chasing after the hag. Mistress of the Night and Friends. There once was a beautiful woman. Men and women alike traveled across the land to earn her hand in marriage, but none could win her heart. Her mother despaired, for she wished for her daughter to find love and happiness. And then her mother died. The woman cried and cried. Her, her suitors stopped calling. Her friends stopped writing. And still she cried. You poor child, Shar whispered in her ear. They only wanted you for your beauty, for your charm, for your grace. Now that grief has replaced your charms, none care for you. None but I. The woman spoke to Shar, who listened. She prayed to Shar, who answered. For the first time in her life, the woman had a true friend. And then Shar asked her to take a vial. A small vial. An innocent vial. She took the vial to a man. The man filled it with liquid and told her to drop it into a well. The woman did. She wanted Shar to love her, to be proud of her. And then people became sick. People died, but Shar loved her, and the woman loved Shar. Now men and women alike travel across the land to see her, not because she's beautiful, not because she's charming, but because she is a high priestess of Shar, and her word is law. Did we just get some backstory on this hag, maybe? Is she a disciple of Shar? I wonder how our good friend Shadowheart feels about that. Potion of animal speaking, of healing, mugwort, greater healing, mugwort, a cleaver. 
some crisp weed. Mistress of the Night and Friends. We just read that, right? But we can take it. Mm. All right. Let's go upstairs. Household prayer. Lathander to light, saloon to guide, Kelev more to judge and passage provide. Wicker basket, probably food and that. Well, burlap sacks, might as well. <clears throat> Gladiatorial sand sandals. <laughs> and I'm encumbered. Let's uh divvy up the goods here. Ritual staff, zero to ten damage, that's worse than what we've got. What is all that commotion going on in the background? All right, down we go. Oh, it's all this. Potion of animal speaking. Ooh. Simple poison recipe. Dagger root. Tea house key. Uh, butter bun. No, I'm not taking any food. Butter bun, butter bun, white bread, spoiled tentacle tart. Ew. Wooden chest. Potion, potion, potion. Hey, potion of feather fall. That's what chat was uh, wanting me to use. Get down. And a potion of healing. All right. Let's see what's up here. Potion of greater healing. We are getting all the loot. Wooden chest. We got some money. Shaggy wardrobe. Plate, spatula, spoon, bottle, and potion of greater. Great. Burlap sack. Oop, I just looted a potato. Hopefully that won't poison me. Oh my god! There is now an arcane barrier over the uh, well. Could that be where she's keeping the girl? Unlocked with the tea house key. Let's do a hard save. That isn't the well, you're turned around, says chat. Oh. Okay. Need healing. Hands off, petal. <laughs> okay, arcane barrier. Um, I'm almost dead. All right, well, I wonder what I can do to an arcane barrier. Can I, like, uh, zap it or something? Eat this. Let's get going. Well, if I get too close, it wounds me. Should mind my stab. There's the well. I wonder if she did anything to the well. I wonder what happens if we go back to it. Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. 
dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. <laughs> and we could again drink from it. Now, well, that was a mistake, drinking from the well. Should have known better. All right, let's uh, check out this fireplace. We just turn it off. Where's the girl? And what do I do to get rid of the arcane lock on the coffin? There's a coffin there. Maybe that's where she is. Maybe she's undead. Well, I wonder if our monster hunter is still outside. Lady of the house awaits. <clears throat> um, we could say the thing you hunt. It's my companion Asterian. I didn't know what he was. Or Asterian's the monster you seek. I wanted to protect him before. We don't. No option to talk about uh, the hag. You can walk through the fireplace, says Squall Lionheart. Oh, can I? I thought I was going to have to interact with it. Let's turn the fire off before we do. You okay? My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Well, looks like it's that time. <clears throat> All right, let's give Gale a magic artifact. Uh, Barty Horn, Karlak, Shadowheart. No. Equipped. Okay, the Watcher's Guide isn't equipped. Sword of Justice. Don't look. Don't. Equipped by Carlac. Equipped by Carlac. All right, so I'm thinking the Watcher's Guide is going to be the best one. Equipped. Equipped. Not equipped. Not equipped. Robe of Summer. Don't Let's do the Watcher's Guide. Don't. Stop. Thank you. any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Okay, uh, yeah. Go on, you're among friends, or there's no need I trust you, Gale, or this better be good, you wasted a small for- I wasted a small fortune on you already. Look. Is that him speaking in the background? <laughs> Let's say, go on, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. 
and what one might call a wizard prodigy, who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it, much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself, the Lady of Mysteries, the goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse, and later even my lover. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Bold. Few would dare to reduce a goddess to their muse. I don't believe a word of what you're saying. Well, go, are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. <laughs> we enjoyed each other's company. Body, don't. mind, and soul. Don't. But even so, I desired more. Oh, you yes. See, no matter says. how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, Stop. we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Please. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Wait. Yet. Every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Hmm. Never cross your lover's boundaries. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? You thought you knew better than Mistra? You're more a fool than I thought. I applaud your ambition. How exactly? Don't I tried to convince no. her. I pouted. Don't. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. Stop. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Please. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. Wait. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come Don't. now to the crux no. of my folly. Here it is. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Oh, I'm here for the lore, Gail. Tell me everything. Oh, I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord <laughs> lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? I thought he was going to say he could consume it himself. Look. But now he wanted to return it to the goddess? That doesn't sound so bad. What was the answer to that question? I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether then? So your grand plan was akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea. Brilliant! Uh, we'll do uh, flowers and chocolates. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Don't. Are you gonna pull an Aladdin here? I really don't, don't want to... I can show you the world moment. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread man. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of 
blackest weave pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods is it ever hungry. We could yank our hand away. How are you still alive, we could say? Gods, why show me this? For all this time I've been traveling with a monster. Let's go, gods, why show me this? I'm sorry, but I had to. After all, this is only the beginning. The way they're looking at each other, this Don't upward glare. <laughs> this netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. Please. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough Wait. sources, Wait. it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Don't look. Don't look at look at her face. <laughs> She's like, ugh, ugh. Something's in your Don't. chest? Oh man, where have I heard that before? Oh, that sounds awful. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> Wait. Go on! You will die. I don't think I want to hear this. We'll go with you will die. Rather worse, don't actually. Look. I will erupt. Don't. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. Is there nothing we can do? Or I trusted you, Gale. You should have told me right away. Or Don't unbelievable. Look. Did you ever think what would happen Don't. if the tadpole got the better of you? Or by rights, I should kill you. I mean, all of Don't. these are so Please. unnecessarily harsh. Please. Is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle around the bend. Then again, Don't we might not. Look. All of this. Don't. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I guess I don't understand why he's pushing the whole betrayal aspect of it. Even our dialogue options, most of which revolve around feeling betrayed. All he did is keep a very personal secret to himself. Yes, it was a secret that could potentially destroy a lot of people, but uh, he could feel it coming. It's not like it would surprise him. Which is why he's taking us aside and talking to us now, because he feels that it's getting stronger. So, I, I mean, I, I don't really think that it's a betrayal. It doesn't feel like one to me. Let's see. I would hear what others say first, or we've come this far together and we'll continue on together. That is how it will be. Or if we were to part ways, where would you go? Or you pose too grave a threat. This is goodbye, Gail. I think if he's going to get through this, he's going to need friends. And he's got friends. So we'll say we've come this far together. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. You got it, Gail. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. All right, all right, all right. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Oh. All right, now, nice soapbox speech. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Hey, exactly. <laughs> Let us venture forth. Very, uh, very nice, Gail. Um, I always thought he had uh, integrity. Okay, so this person yelling is in here. Stop! Please! Please! Lauren! Did I do a hard save? I think I did. Recipe unlocked. Vitriol of bone cap. Don't look. Don't! What was that? What was that? Away! Away! Don't 
okay, uh, before we start touching mirrors and skulls and stuff, let's talk to the You man. are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Or what? I think I'll stay for a while. Forgive me. I'll leave right away. Tell me where Marina is. I mean, it's the least we can do for killing her brothers. Has that Wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Or you'll end up in tonight's stew. It'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Ah. Well. Don't. Don't. Megron. Blinded Stop. Elf. Please. Where is she? A stone dwarf. Wait. Lots of victories Wait. in here. Um. We should probably do a long rest, huh? Don't look. Don't. Kunk says you skipped something cool at the very Stop. beginning of the game. Each Please. character has an intro Please. monologue. At character creation, you can still check it out. Awesome, I'll have to do that. Wait. Jasper Wait. Redding says, I'm a little disappointed with the romances in this game. Literally the entire party Don't wanted to get with Bardyhorn during the party, no matter Don't. what. And that's Jasper's first super chat. Yeah, that was a little baffling. Uh, I think the only one who didn't Stop. was maybe Asterion. Please. Even he was very Please. flirty. <laughs> uh, I guess the, the developers just didn't want to prevent Wait. you from um, romancing whomever you wanted, I guess. Don't look. All right, well, uh, we got this cutscene, but we don't see her. Stop. Please. Please. What's that? Away. Away. What's what? Uh, do we go to the skull first, or do we talk to what's his name? Don't look. Let's go to the skull. Don't. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never Stop. fade. Please. Oh, Please. these are people who came to her and asked for favors, and these are the favors they got. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Please. Please. Herculent orb? What does that do? Wait. It's a light source. Megron. Don't look. Don't. What is this place? Is he still alive? Stasis. Oh, please. Megron's head. Please. My darling Magron. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. Oh, so her mind. She got her own mind. She was the genius, I guess. Don't look. Gnarly Cauldron. Stop. Please. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. And she did by turning him into stone. Don't look. Watery oh. eye. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. And so she had her eyes plucked out. A blinded elf. She's dead. I guess we can loot her if she's dead. Don't look. Don't. Whispering mask. Stop. Please. Please. Whoops. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. 
What happened the last time you opened? Or, come on, open up! Or, no time to chat, I'm here to kill the hag! Let's ask what happened the last time it happened. Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. We'll come back. Please. Away! Away! Don't look. Don't! No. No! Don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. Are you all right? Mustn't look at what exactly? Smile as he twitches and whimpers. <laughs> Let's go, mustn't look at what exactly? I see it. I see what's to come. You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me. Dead. Dead! Flesh rotten, bone shining! We can quietly observe. We could say, calm yourself. Whatever you're seeing, it isn't real. I just see a reflection. Hey, hey, look at me. What are you doing? Get out of here. Let's try calm yourself. Lies. Lies. I see it. See truth. See death. All future. That's so? And what does my future hold? Or this is nonsense. Let's uh, try what does my future hold? Always asked, never good, never see, never. Gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please, 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 please. What? Why would I hurt you? You're safe with me, I swear. Every time you open your mouth, it gets a little more tempting. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Or we could pass a half-orc check to say, not everyone looks like you do, elf. It's shocking, I know. Let's try that. Ah, no! Stop! Trick! 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 There's a monster! Monster! For mind dripping! Flesh peeling! Mind flayer! Look at me! I'm not a mind flayer! Or we can take a deep breath and roar! Or we can silently step away. Uh, <laughs> let's try to convince him with words. No! No! Mind flayer! Get away! Get away! Okay, that's it. No Alt Grendel. Of letting that Stop. Please. Please. Alt Grendel says, hello, Ox and chat. Better late than never. Thank you, Alt Grendel. Good to see you, my friend. We've got an hourglass away. here. Away. My gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Don't look. Don't Not bad. Stop. I've had Please. better days. And worse. Please. Not bad. I've had better days. And worse. Wait! Away! A thief who Don't. tried to steal no. from Auntie. Don't! Now the good little pet guards my home. Stop! Please! Stop! Stop! Make it stop! Well, we can't talk with him anymore, and he's getting really Wait. annoying. Wait. Okay, well, we could talk to the door. There's also the cauldron Don't in the middle of look. the room. Don't. Let's start with the cauldron. Stop. Please. Please. Oh. Wait. Wait. Nothing. Don't look. Right. Don't. Let's go into the door. Stop. 
Marco. Please. Please. Wait. You feel the barest hint of life from within the door. Intimidation, open up or I'll burn you to ashes. Plus five. Or persuasion, if I kill the hag, you'll be free. That's plus like nine or something. Add bonus. Nice. Critical success. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Away! Away! Here we go! I'm gonna do a hard save here. Don't look. Don't! You feel the barest hint of life from within the door. What? 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 I passed the check. Away. Away. Don't look. Don't walk closer to the door. Stop. Please. Please. You feel the barest hint of life from within. Feel the barest hint of life. Stop. To the Please. left side, says the chat. Please. Left side? Away! Away! Click on the other side of the door. You feel the barest hint of life. out and click past Wait. the door, says the chat. I mean, there's only one. Don't. Ah. Look. Okay. All right. That was weird. I have a feeling that should have opened somehow. Don't look. Mr. Don't. Jocked says, you found four masks and there's four of you in the party. Could this be a subtle hint? Well, we got through the door without Stop. them. Whispering Please. mask, part Please. of the flock. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Hmm. Away, away. Hello, Becker. My, my. The mask suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Auntie Ethel look after you. What? <laughs> Saved ephemeral whispers. Oh, he's being attacked by something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's tick that off. All right, well, thanks for that. I mean, there was a reason I didn't put it on earlier. It, it seemed, like, wrong. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, well, we got to find this boss. Oh, there's an elf. Oh, I see. Would the mask have allowed us to get through these guys unharmed? Soul is in good hands. 
Critical hit, nice. chance by the way I clearly don't understand how percentages work against Fighting against their will. Uh, okay. Maybe if I can get through quickly, I don't have to fight them. They don't want to fight me. Okay, uh, let me try and get to the waterfall. Got it. I'm guessing the waterfall is the way out. Don't make me do this. Wade Speakerman says, Hey, guys. Ox loves killing the innocent. Not today. Maybe I can get through this waterfall and the battle will, uh, will end. Have to keep going. Dash. Oh, right. Whoops. Wisdom fail. Oh! Oh! Service the Drow says in your passive tab you can toggle for non lethal. Yeah, I, I might have to kill them. Or I might have to attack them. But it only works with melee. Must be unarmed or using a melee weapon. Does not work on undead or constructs. So I can't use any of my magic. Make for the waterfall. Let's light them up. I'm ready.
two. Oops, I should have used dash. The longer this goes on, the more wisdom fails for these poor guys. Don't make me hurt them! Okay, um... My turn. Didn't work! I'm immobile. Wow. I can't do anything. I won't hurt them. Oh, there's a jump. Yeah, it looks like that gets him out of combat, I think. I think? Oh, what have I gotten myself into? That's as far as I can go with her. Get this. Okay, can I move? Don't waste a step. Lucky. Aha. No, Auntie. Whoops, I should have used dash. Okay, let's see. Now that we're in here, we've got big pools and puddles of poison everywhere we go. I mean, how do I combat that? Even if I get out of combat, I... Oh. No, I, I gotta walk through all of this. To get down there. Do I jump past it? If I go down the ladder, I get right into the thick of it. I guess I could try jumping past it. When I 
Jacob. Jump across, says the chat. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm gonna be able to. Perception successful, perception fail. So that's the path through, but it does go through this poison, noxious fumes. And I'm not seeing a way for me to jump across because these are too far. Even if I do, I get down here and then I've got a big puddle right there. Where do I go from there? I gotta get to the knotted roots. Jump across to the downward slope, not across the middle. Oh, so like jump across this? All right. No! much for that. What the heck? I jumped across and I still somehow triggered it. Good grief. There was something on the ground that triggered it, Ox. Was there? Breathe deep and move. Oh, what? what was that? What just what happened? Can... Why did my turn get interrupted? Why did my turn get interrupted? Okay, uh... <sighs> Perception failed, but I got across. Okay, so now I need to figure out where I'm trying to go from here. I guess I'm trying to go down there. So I gotta jump over this? Or do I jump down there? If I go down there, I can't go that way. And I gotta go through a huge poison cloud in order to get down there. I'm guessing I try to jump down there and hope for the best. Or I could jump over here and then jump down there. Let's try that. Oh, that gets dangerously close. Flower. 
That destroys the flower and ignites the uh, poison, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't destroy the flower. It just ignites the poison. I'd have to wait into it. To disarm the flower. Path is interrupted. Death. Death, it's too far. I could jump over there. But I had to heal, and now I'm. Now I can't do anything. I won't! Do I have any long distance healing? I don't. Someone's gonna have to go back there and save him. I'll let Shadowheart do that. He can't jump over that. I can't jump over that, and I can't jump down. Path is interrupted. Well, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I don't I don't have there's nothing I can do but run through it. Onward. Okay, well now that I'm down here, where do I even go? Uh, I guess over here. What should I do? All right, well we got to send her back to get him.
Well, there's nothing for it. Okay, well now Barty Horn is stuck down a pit. All right, uh, I'm not gonna rest him again. I'm just out. Let's try entrance gallery. Load save game. Well, I don't want to kill those innocent people. And it seems like it's kind of forcing me to do that. And, uh then there's all that poison in there that I just don't know how to deal with. I tried igniting it. I tried disarming the flowers. Yeah, I don't know what to do in that situation, so. Try the masks for everyone. Well, the masks turn us crazy. That's what happened to the other people in there. They wore the masks. Stop. And that made Please. them influenced by Please. the hat. Darkness Knight gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Wait. Thank Wait. you, Darkness Knight. And congratulations to Samuel DeLeon, Robert Moneygold, Valks Don't Plays, Lion 2 Gamer, and Don't. Knox. Also, the dungeon Stop. on the other side of this door Please. is really Please. sprawling and annoying. I just don't want to bother exploring it right now. So let's get out of here. Don't look. Don't. I think the Goblin Fortress. What? All right. I think the Goblin Fortress that I. Uh, explored a couple of live streams ago has burned me because I didn't expect a, a dungeon like that to take multiple live streams to get through. Alt Grendel says Kunk says you can block vents and poison emitters with heavy objects. Okay, what? So I just carry a bunch of barrels with me and plop them down on top of the flowers? Yeah. Unnecessarily laborious. I, I just am not interested in spending my time doing that. And uh, that dungeon looks like it's something that's going to take the rest of the live stream to get through. And I'm not interested enough in the story to do that. So let's go somewhere else. Let's see. What I was really interested in doing is finding the Gith Yankee Patrol. Because uh, that's one of the things that we needed to do for her storyline. And let's see. Looks like there's... If I go back to the goblin camp, though, everyone's going to be hostile. Okay, let's rest. Oh, we've got short rests available. But I don't have any of my spells, so let's do a long rest. when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Who is she? <laughs> I just can't do what I want to do, can I? I'm constantly interrupted. 
Just who in the nine hells are you? Well, well, aren't you a luscious thing? Daggone devil, get out of my camp. Uh, let's do who in the nine hells are you? Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mazora. And at least those can be buried after. Yeah. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Ooh. Always a footnote. <coughs> get to the point, devil. What do you want? If we kill Karlak now, will that get rid of you? You better not lay a finger on Karlak. Blast it all, Will. Why didn't you tell me about her? I've heard enough. You're not leaving this place alive. Get to the point. The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. Okay. What? What is this? That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Interesting. Well, uh, a lot happened in our campfire. We just wanted to sleep, but all right. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. He's a good man, maybe the best of us. You must be relieved, a foolish decision. And now he'll have to pay the consequences. Let's go, he's a good man. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Well, we gotta go see how Will's doing. Where is he? There he is. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Save failed Arcana. You warned me about Raphael, but are pacted to Mizora? What a fraud. The Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. What did you expect? She's a devil, hardly the paragon of honesty. Or you've been turned to a devil. An appropriate punishment, I can say. Wow, none of these are nice. 
Let's do explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. What are the terms of your pact? You should get out of this pact. How in the hells did you get involved with Mizora? Let's ask that. Ah. The one little question that put me out of house and home. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Worth even this? All right. Looks like Gale has something to say. Even in such fraught times as these, there's peace to be found in the stillness as evening draws in. I used to while away many hours just like these with my companion. Though in far comfier surrounds. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. <laughs> Sounds, er, uh, fun. I hope you aren't talking about Mistra again. Are you, are you talking about your cat? By a Geron's lost nose, no! <laughs> Tara is not any cat. She's a Tressum. And given your confusion, I'm guessing you've never met one. They're brilliant creatures. Fine company for any self-respecting wizard. What's a Should Trissom? be proud to see me keeping such fine company. The savior of those poor tieflings, no less. I've given her precious little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself. But Tara never did. It was her encouragement, her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. She has a good heart. You should recognize the same in your actions here. I'm sure she'd approve of me lending myself to your efforts. Whatever happened to her? Uh, she must be very smart to have done all of that. What is Tara like? You must have been lonely with only Tara for company. Uh, let's do what is Tara like? You remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging on to Mistress' coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. Sunny Fusion Sunrise says, Some of my fondest memories with my grandfather are making sandcastles. Until Auntie took the urn away. Uh, a little bit of dark there. Uh, thank you, Sun Sunny Fusion Sunrise, for that one. <clears throat> Bad luck on that front. I'm actually a nymph in disguise. So I remind you of your pet, how romantic. Or what if she doesn't like me? Or you don't have any friends? Let's do nymph in disguise. Huh. Very funny. But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring in a <laughs> ten day or more. <laughs> Not that I don't appreciate your... musk. Oh, oh, come on! Actually rather like it. Yuck! Gail! Well, <laughs> it seems as good a time as any for me to stop babbling on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just said that you appreciate my musk, Gail. That's, you need some sleep. Could you go to bed now? You, you clearly are delirious here. <laughs> but we could egg him on. Poor Bardyhorn here could say, don't stop now. What else do you like about me besides my musk, Gail? Oh, which apparently comes from not bathing. He likes it when we don't bathe. 
What is wrong with this guy? You're, you're not so bad yourself, though you're usually more erudite. I can't say I share the same high opinion of you, Gail. Or if this is an attempt at flirting, you should stop. I'm not interested. <laughs> Come on. Why can't I do something that isn't cruel? Number three is, says that I don't have a high opinion of him. But that's not true. I do have a high opinion of him. It's just not a romantic opinion of him. We could say if this is an attempt at flirting, you should stop. I'm not interested, but that's way too blunt. You tell someone you're not interested in flirting, not by simply saying, hey, I'm not interested in flirting, but by, you know, brushing it off or saying something a little more casual. But the only, uh, the other two options are to go with it. Don't stop now or you're not so bad yourself. Uh, God. No good options here. I'm going to go with four. Just because at least it's honest. Right. Understood. You shall hear no more on the subject from me. Consider this budding romance thoroughly nipped. Though I hope our friendship need not come to such an abrupt end. Go, enjoy your evening. Nothing better for the heart than a good night's rest. And mine is gladdened to know I'll have the pleasure of your company again come morning. Lore Revolution says he took it well at least. He did, he's, he's a gentleman. Uh, Gail's a good guy, I like him a lot. Just not that much. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm curious if we can tell Asterion that we found a bounty hunter who's looking for him. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Yes, we can. I met a monster hunter in the swamp. He was looking for you. What? Who? What happened? He wanted to capture you and bring you back to Baldur's Gate. He was a gur named Gandrol. You're safe. Now tell me why you have hunt a hunter on your tail. I'm curious about number three. Why? Because Cazador sent him. Why else? Tell me about this hunter. He obviously wasn't a vampire. Was he Dragonborn? An orc? Something ferocious, surely. And who is Cazador exactly? Oh man, I hate the name Cazador. Human, a mild-mannered gur named Gandro. A Goliath, huge and imposing. It was a kobold with a limp, terrifying. Let's do, let's try, who is Cazador exactly? Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn and he became my tormentor. Ah, uh, we can tell him the truth. Human, a mild-mannered gur named Gandrel. A gur? A monster-hunting vagabond? <laughs> His people are the reason I'm like this. It was a group of gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Saved you by turning you into a vampire slave? You can't hold every gur responsible for what happened to you, so why send one after you now to remind you of that night? He appeared just when you needed him. Sounds convenient. Why would monster hunters serve Cazador? He's a vampire. That does sound convenient. Maybe. Maybe he was just drawn to the smell of blood. The point is, I have history with these barbarians. Cazador's sending a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. But why capture you? Why not just kill you? Don't worry, you're safe with me. How concerned should we be? Let's ask about capture. Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. He's not wrong, we could say. Or, well, you're safe with me. <laughs> safe? You think I'm safe? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. I take it back, okay, we're not safe. Proved your point. 
All right, what do you suggest we could say? Can he do that? Just walk into our camp? Vampires aren't invincible. We could take him. Let's uh, see what he suggests. First, we have to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. <clears throat> what do you make of Raphael's deal? Huh, we haven't been able to ask him about this yet? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. He makes a good point. We have other options, better options. I understand the appeal, or you're trading one master for another. You'll be a slave either way. I mean, these are all really good options. Uh, let's do number one. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more? Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity on it. All right, well, lots of interesting dialogue with, with Asterion. Okay, um, if we're going to be doing the Githyanki quest, I need to arm her, and that means I need Karlak's armor. So let's give that... Let's go get rid of uh, Karlak real quick. Hey, you. Wow, uh, there's so much dialogue. Okay. You and Mazora seem to know each other. How? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I can see why you were so keen to escape, or we can change the subject. Let's do I can see why you were so keen to escape. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride change the subject. Uh, I'd like to try cooling you down somehow. Uh, not sure where that's going to go. Uh, what's it been like to not touch anyone for such a long time? Also, opening a door we really can't move into just yet. Karlak, I'd love to be able to touch you properly. <laughs> this, this game. So about tadpole powers. You really did it, huh? Oh, not we already did this. Adding more well, Okay. And yet. Um, I was hoping you might. It's your choice, but I think the tadpoles make me stronger. Not at all, we can say. No, it's your choice. Do they? I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. Didn't I go through this with her earlier? We could say, I think, I think it through, Carl. Like there's a lot to be gained here. Why can't you see by my example that this is worth our while? We might be facing a cult more powerful than we know. We need all the help we can get. 
I'm indifferent to all three of these options. But we still gotta roll for it. Ooh, critical failure. You can say whatever you want. You aren't gonna change my mind. Nothing will. I don't want to get more mixed in with this mind flayer shit than I already am. Got it? Yeah, yeah, fine. You'd agree with me if that tadpole hadn't eaten the sensible part of your brain. Now, are we done here? She did not like that conversation, but there was more. Hey, you. Uh, let's try, I'd like tr uh, to try cooling you down somehow. If you have any ideas, I'm all for it. Give me all you've got. Uh, okay. Well, that didn't work. I'm waiting. What? Am I supposed to cast a spell on her, or...? I mean, I don't have any ice spells. I'm waiting. Throw water, says chat. Okay, uh... Well, jeez. I don't have any water. Maybe I do in my sack? There's a water barrel by Gale, says chat. Can't pick up. Okay. Now, uh... Okay, so what do I do now? Do I shoot it? Oh, this is clever. Might even work. Come here. Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, didn't work. Mm, I'm dizzy. And you, are you all right? No permanent damage and absolutely worth it, or I saw sparks. Actual sparks. All I can say is ouch. Let's say that it was worth it. I hope that's true. Because I'm hoping for seconds, thirds, and fourths once we find a way to cool off this engine. 
This poor lady. She's really pent up. Uh, believe me, it's my top priority, or if I miss... Or I miss the feeling of you already, or we'll have to see where we are by then. Mm. Um, let's try It's My Top Priority. Mine too. Soon enough, you're going to be mine. But until then, I'll play nice. You have your fun with the others till then. I don't mind sharing, if I must. But keep a piece left over for me, hmm? All right, all right. We could say you're the only one for me, Carlac, believe me, or you can count on it, or let's just take things as they come. You can count on it. I will then. Whoa, that was a series of strange emotions on her face. <laughs> okay, can I disband her now? Oh, hi. Uh, let's stay behind in the camp for now. Sounds boring. You heard me. Ah, oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. All right, now, where's the Gith Yankee? Lizel. There she is. Speak. It is done. Okay. Now let's give her some armor. Whoops, wrong person. Oh, she already has armor. Oh, I see. Okay, well this was for her. Okay, let us finally rest. It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Oh, of course! Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. Oh, this is gonna get me in trouble, isn't it? I do have streamer mode on, don't I? Man, everyone in this camp is so horny. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't think we should do this or lead the way. Got my, my thing on the it. button just in case. Come here. Sit with me. I just can't get out of this camp. <laughs> I just can't. I can't move on with the quest. Ah, okay, we've got what do you have in mind besides the bottle, that is. Or I wouldn't dream of missing it. Or did you think I wouldn't show? Or we could drain the cup with one swallow. Uh, I mean, a little bit of tipsy is fine, but let's not rush it. Let's go. I wouldn't dream of missing it. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? To victory! Ad victorium! To survival, to us, to friendship. That might put a dampen on the mood there. Uh, let's do. Uh... Let's do to survival. I think she would resonate with that more. Very practical. We could have toasted to that every night so far. Here's to many more. Survival. Alt Grendel says, "Ox, you stud." Tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. I'm no stud. I'm not even trying with this game. This game is just throwing romantic companions at me. And I've, I'm doing my best to, like, push Gale away so that we can maintain a friendship. But everyone else is just eager. All right, something about me I'm surprised you cared. Or we could pass a half-orc check to speak of an uncertain youth, neither fully at home with humans or orcs, a youth that forged resilience and self-reliance. We could share a little memory from growing up in Baldur's Gate. We could say there are other things we could do besides talk. Or we could pass a persuasion check to say you first. Let's do the half-orc check. I can sympathize. Trudy. 
Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. I'm not sure what else I could say. We should head back now. We might be missed. Ooh. Or we could pass a persuasion check to say your turn. I insist. A little give and take is only fair. Gotta pass a 10. I'm not gonna mess this up. Let's get advantage and dice roll. Two critical failures. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it's a critical failure! That's always a my dice! Oh, I can roll again! Yay! Come on now! Don't give me another critical failure! I just can't take it with this game and the dice! I'm so cursed! Come on! Ah, I can freaking bonus. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things, they're lost to me right now. Do you think your memories will ever come back? Or wrong? You like night orchards and can't swim. You told me once. Drinking wine won't help that. Well, that's a convenient way to avoid the question. We'll show her that we remember the things she has told us by pat by doing the number two. <laughs> I did. And you remembered. Right, I did remember. You're sweet. Oh, sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. No? All right, we're just gonna chat. Tonight's the night of chatting. I'm done with chatting. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. Did we just nap? All right, I'm done with napping, it's fine. We could look into her eyes. We could say the others can wait. I don't want this to end just yet. We should go back then. I mean, looking into her eyes, isn't that a bit creepy? Just like grab her chin and just, come here, and look into your eyes. That's weird. All right, so he's, I'm gonna have him say the others can wait. I don't want this to end just yet. Another moment won't kill them, I suppose. Well, it might, but let's take that risk. Oh, and we're gonna look into the eyes anyway, aren't we? Thank you for last night. I hope there will be more to come, we could say. My pleasure, we could say. There's no need to thank me. We don't want to sound too eager, right? Let's say my pleasure. It was just what I needed. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay, we could kiss her. We could say, you know, if you want something, I think you should take it. Or we could let the moment pass. Oh, 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 Barty Horn. What are you doing? What are you reaching for? Barty Horn, hey, getting a little fresh. Well, there is an invitation in her eyes, right? An invitation for what? He's ready. <laughs> Barty Horn's already reaching forward. All right, all right. He's over eager. Let's kiss her. And Shadow Heart approves. Lore Revolution says, "What was that hand doing? I don't know. That was that was a roving hand, is what that was." That didn't hurt, did it? No, far from it, we could say. The pain was worth it for a little tingle. I can't tell if those are sarcastic options or not. Padre in the chat. Hey, good to see you, Padre. I feel like it's been a while. Very generous super chat says, where do bad rainbows go? Prism. It's a light sentence, and it gives them time to reflect. Oh, it keeps going. I thought we were done with Prism. All right. Why was the blonde fired from the M&M &M factory? All right, it's a blonde joke. 
Hope there are no blondes in the chat right now. She was caught throwing out all of the W's. Nice. <laughs> nice, Padre. I've never heard that. That's great. Why was the blonde caught snorting sweet and low? Oh. She thought it was... Why was the blonde... Why was the blonde caught snorting sweet and low? She thought it was Diet Coke. Missed you, Padre. Glad you're back. All right, we're going to go no far from it. Good to know. For the future, mm. let's head back, if we must. Diet Coke. Padre. <sighs> Okay. Wow, we are fully rested, and it looks like Shadowheart has something to say to us. All's well, I hope. Of course. Unless something's the matter, or I wanted to talk with you about that night we spent together. Uh... Let's go, of course. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked and kissed. That night meant a lot to me, and I hope there's more to come. You first. Perhaps we got carried away. I value your company, but not like that. Or it was a mistake. We should forget it ever happened. Gosh, so dramatic, Barty Horn. I should say it meant a lot to us. It did. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said anything about courtship? Bardyhorn here isn't a one-woman man. No, 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 he's got a lot of uh, fires in the, or irons in the fire, I should say. You and I, we could say we share something special, I think, and I want to talk about it, or I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Uh... Uh, okay, this is new, so let's explore it. Very serious of you. But go ahead. It is very serious. How are you faring? Or admit it, you've never had a relationship quite like this one, have you? Ah. Uh, that's a weird thing. How are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a dark justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. I mean, I'm at your side, I'm at Carlac's side, I'll probably be at a Gif Yankee's side here. I'm at a lot of sides, all right? I like sides. Sides are good. Yours is good, but others are good, too. All right, let's leave. Okay, we've got Lizelle. We've got her armored. Let's see if we can track down this get Yankee patrol. And hopefully our companions can keep it in their pants for at least one more night. Jeez. All right, uh, let's see. We need to go all the way up here for the get Yankee patrol. And the closest fast travel marker is really this one, the Risen Road. It's quite a ways. I guess we gotta do it. Wait. You lost I, I need to cast Mage Armor. Barty Horn needs rest. to cast his Barty spells. Can't target self. Then I can do one more Bardic Inspiration. I can do another Bardic Inspiration. Okay. What am I to do? Shield of Faith until the next 
rest. We can cast that on Bardyhorn. Great. And she can only have one up at a time, right? Yeah, I think that uh, only works one at a time. No one stopped me yet. What path lies before me? Okay, let's plot our journey here. This goes under there. I think we got to go over here and across. Kill all these guys? That's right in the middle of our path. We could go down here. Faith will guide me. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Breathe deep and move. Slowly but surely, guys. Look at their amazing stealth. We got this. Okay. We're on the right path. Okay, I think we're, uh, I think we're out of danger. Bacon Boy says the companions flirts with Bardyhorn at every opportunity. Meanwhile, Bardyhorn, go away. I'm collecting lore. <laughs> He's got his priorities. Signpost. Welcome to Joaquin's Rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, Elturel. What's this? Have we been here? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the goblin thing. That's the goblin camp that we partially destroyed. All right, we're almost there. Do we go up or down? That's the question. I'm going to guess down. A dragon rider. My kin are near. The size of that thing. Looks so much bigger when it's flying above you. I suggest we admire it from afar. Okay, I'm gonna do a hard it save here. It would be here. too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? Okay, it looks like the Githyanki are on the bridge. Right there. So, I guess we go up. Who's this? What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham! 
What's the matter? And who are you exactly? I might have been concerned had I the slightest idea who they are. Whatever you just called me, I didn't like the sound of it. Watch your tongue. What's the matter, we can say? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Right. <clears throat> um, who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Seems you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Okay, bye. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Right, well, bye. Good luck to you. Heavy chest. I forgot to sell, didn't I? Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn! Okay! <laughs> Run away! Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Well, the good Yankee. dragon. I envy its night. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. The Githyanki really mean business. <clears throat> we could say this Githyanki look dangerous. Stay back. Or the dragon incinerated those soldiers. Surely this isn't safe? Or, and we'll just pat the dragon on the head, I suppose? Or, let's go. Let's pat the dragon on the head. The dragons serve Githyanki. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Rider, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Um, wow, a couple, couple options here. We could nod to Lizelle, go ahead, or we could pass a half-orc check and say, I will be speaking on her behalf, Gith. I have a feeling that'll probably go really poorly. But I am curious. Jay King, a member for 35 months, says, Hey, Ox and fam, good to see you all today. I'm extremely busy recently as I got a promotion to management at my work. But I'll do, uh, but I'll go on when I can. I'll be on when I can. Well, thank you, J. King, and congratulations on the promotion. Let's see what happens if we pass a half-orc check. Imbecile, stay back. Now, now. I've few chances to speak to such an unusual sort. What say you? Now, now, child, your pet means to speak. Tell me, pet, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Time to put my persuasion to work. We could pass a sleight of hand check to say to silently hold his stare and discreetly prepare to attack. We could pass an insight check to say you would have done so already if you didn't want something from me first. We could pass an intimidation check of plus five, so far our best one, to say I just want passage. If I have to go through you, so be it, 
or we could pass a persuasion check, which is a plus nine, to say, I don't know you, I pose no threat. And that's what we'll do. Gods, if you give me a critical failure again, I swear to, to gods, I guess, that I will say nasty things in a very stern tone. We've got to pass a 15 here. We've got two dice and a bunch of advantage points. Let's try it. Come on. Hey. About time. Don Magix says, position your companions on the high ground before this fight. Is it a fight? I think I'm going to be able to talk through this, right? Of course you are not a threat. You are nothing until I tell you otherwise. For you to keep sucking air, it is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. A vessel fell from the sky. We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks is the same one the Absolute's followers are hunting. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Don't help them. Don't tell them a thing. We're dead if you do. Ooh, I am in a precarious position here. I'll help if I can. You'll need to start from the beginning. What is this weapon you're after? We could produce the artifact. Ask if this is what he seeks. I might know something, but it'll cost you. Or we could say nothing. Let's ask him to start from the beginning. Do not speak. Your bleating offends my ears. Just stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. We could do nothing, we could attack, or we could pass an arcana check to silently interrupt the meaning of the gestures. We've got plus one from intelligence, plus one from jack of all trades, and a plus D4 from guidance. We gotta pass a 10. Yeah, oh, okay. You realize he's casting Detect Thoughts. We could do no nothing, or pass a Wisdom check, which is only plus one, or a plus one D4, to resist the probing of our mind or attack. Oh my god, they're not making this easy. And we gotta pass a 10 again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God, I'm lucky. I am lucky right now. <laughs> Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. And we are back to passing even more checks. This is just how many players get through this conversation. Holy cow, I'm glad I rolled a, a bard with high charisma. We could pass a persuasion check to say, I could help if you let me live. Search for this weapon, perhaps? We could pass an intimidation check to say, why are you hesitating then? Try it, I dare you. We actually have a plus five and a D4 from guidance for that one. Though we have greater for this persuasion. That's seven plus a D4 from guidance. Or we could pass a persuasion check to say, you ought to just leave. You have no right to decide my fate. I don't want to have to be searching for this thing for them. And these are essentially the same. I have the same chance. But if we ask them to leave, she won't be able to ask them. About the crash. Let's pass the persuasion check that says we'll help look for it. Charm person.
Yes! Unlikely you'd be successful, but it costs me nothing to spare your sorry life. Very well, Istik. Seek out survivors from the ship that crashed on this wretched world. Bring me their heads. Bring me the weapon. If you succeed, the reward will be great. Now go. All right, and we got approvals from our entire party from that, including Shadowheart. Oh, but they leave anyway? Okay. Well, well, what does Lizelle have to say about that? Let's do a quick save. Damn it all! I required your silence, and you made me a mockery! A Kithrak demanded my head! I should have given him yours. Hey! Bah, this is a distraction. The Kithrak deserves the whole of my scorn. Yes. How dare he speak my queen? How dare he dishonor her child? Exactly. I saved your skin there. He was going to kill you, despite the fact that you were a Githyanki. Okay, wasn't he acting on your queen's command? Or we could reach out to comfort her. We could say, given how badly that went, what do you plan to do next? Or we could pass a persuasion check, which we've been having a lot of luck with this broadcast so far, to say, calm yourself, save your anger for your queen's enemies. Let's do that. Friends. Yes, judicious counsel, and vexing given the source. I am a child of Gith. I will abide by protocol and seek the Kresh Gustil, as Vlakith has taught. And then, then I will skewer the heretic with his own silver sword. The Kresh is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Okay, so we didn't need to talk with them to get to the crash. We have to find it on our own. <clears throat> well, that was quite an encounter. Let's, uh, let's loot the dead here. Watermelon. These are Flaming Fist mercenaries. Uh, got a great sword out of that. And now we're encumbered. Another great sword. And a short sword. So quite a lot of loot. Let's uh, divvy up the spoils here. Give that to Lizelle. Is that better than what she has? No. Wait, this scale mail. But she currently has scale mail. Worth selling if we can find a merchant, though. And now we've got these whispering masks. We're probably going to have to save them for when we next go back. Okay, and now I'm no longer encumbered. Won't last long, though. Pouch. So, continue following the road, she said, to find the Githyanki Crash. Travel through the mountain pass. Reach the Githyanki Crash. Okay, so traveling through the mountain pass is part of our other quest to get to the moon glade, I believe is what it's called. But we kind of wanted to go underground, didn't we? Is there a fast travel marker around here somewhere? You'd think there would be. Well, we'll follow the mountain pass just long enough to find the Githyanki Crash. See where that goes. And uh, I'm kind of interested in going underground. I believe um, our druid friend told us that would be the e easier path anyway.
road closed. Detour ahead. Road closed. Detour ahead. Hmm. Oh, we got to click on it. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. Warning, the area you are about to enter will be briefly difficult for a party of your level. Will be bitterly difficult for a party of your level. Okay, I guess... I guess no, then. But that's where the crush is! The, the Githyanki crush, this is the quest we got at the very beginning of the game. It's literally the first quest we got. And they're sending us into the mountain pass, which is bitterly difficult for our level. The tea house was bitterly difficult for our level. And that's all the quests we have. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're not going to try and get the Gith Yankee crush anytime soon. Well, poor Lizelle. Well, what I do want to do is sell. And I think the best way to do that is go to the Emerald Grove because they've got some good merchants there. And we have a ton of trap to get rid of. I've only got about 20 minutes left anyway. And then I need to go pick up my kids from day camp. So we can do that and then go to camp and then swap out to get our um, demon girl back. And then, I guess, we'll go back to the goblin camp and try to investigate the temple. To travel through the temple of Saloon. There are still other places to go, Ox, says Vicky T. Uh, yeah, there are still a couple of darkened places on the map. And I haven't gone down that path yet. So, should we continue with this quest and just go underground? Or should we explore the entire map to level up our characters first? Whoops. Either way, we need to sell. So let's go to the Emerald Grove. to avail myself of your merchants. Ooh, and she's all the way out here. She really was demoted, wasn't she? Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> she is not pleased. Master Halcyd's home, by Sylvanus' mercy. It might have been better if he'd stayed away. Don't say that. Come now, he took in those strays and then he just left. He went to make sure those strays could go. Oh, has he left? Has he gone? That's right, they all left for Baldur's Gate. Well, where am I going to find a merchant? I killed all the goblins. The druids are gone. I could go back to camp and sell to Withers. That's a bummer. Uh, okay, let's go to camp.
fate spins along as it should. Oh, wait, Dost he's... thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps... Uh, he's not a merchant. Do we even have a merchant in camp? Paulson isn't a merchant, is he? This is frustrating. Oakfather's blessings to you. He does have a bunch of uh, conversation, though. I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. How will the grove fare without you? Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid. Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. Who? What about one of the others, Wrath, perhaps? Couldn't Nettie take over, or I trust your judgment? I mean, I have absolutely no reason to not trust his judgment, so we'll say we trust his judgment. If only everyone said that. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Very shrewd of you, or won't this cause resentment? Or sounds like the Grove will be in good hands then. It might cause resentment. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. This shadow curse you spoke of, surely it can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise, but the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. What about the secret stronghold in the Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Aradim was convinced there was a hidden entrance in the Temple of Saluna. I'd start there. Okay. Why do you want me to go to Moonrise Towers? Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his Dark Justicius years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. <clears throat> Seems like you feel responsible for the Shadow Curse somehow. Do you know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Is that why you went with Eredin? You thought he might find the route to Moonrise? I can't say, er, it can't have been easy surrendering your title. Won't you miss being First Druid? Okay, can we go through all of these? At the celebration with the Tieflings before, I hope I didn't come over too strong. Got caught up in the moment. Um, let's see what he says about being responsible for the curse. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Do you know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Perhaps, but we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Is that why you went with Eredin? You thought he might find this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. 
We didn't even get close. It can't have been easy surrendering your title. Won't you miss being first druid? <laughs> miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's a terrible burden. Takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. Uh, interestingly, we have an option to say that we came off too strong during the party, but we didn't actually. When we talked with him, there was a moment to flirt with him and we chose not to. So I'm going to skip that option and say, how are you faring out here at the camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. Well, if there's anything I can do to make you less comfortable, let me know. <laughs> at the celebration before... Wait, hold on. You'll find plenty of books before long. I keep coming across them everywhere, and that's true. We do. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch. Thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. You're still faring well at the camp, I hope? With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. All right, and we can leave. So, he's not a merchant and we don't have one in camp. Let's get rid of our tiefling, Linezel. Um, let's see, who did we give the gloves to? Let's take all of the loot off of her inventory. I could have sworn we had some gloves for the demon. Sword of Justice. Get the Yankee half plate. Laura says, Lizelle is a Gith Yankee, not a Tiefling Ox. Yes, you're right. I misspoke. Growling Underdog. Gith, Link, Gith Yankee Boots. We wanted to save those. Where did we put it? Huh. Uh, and that's all she has that we needed. Where is she? There she is. Speak quickly. Wait for me in camp. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? Not arguing. As you say, do not keep me waiting. Okay, and Carlac. That contraption's a hot ticket item. Might not be our last scrap for its sake. What it's been like... Oh, we can talk about not touching somebody. I'd love to touch you properly. Come on, we're heading out. Aces. Okay, then let's give her... The Gif Yankee plate. The sword. Where's Lizelle's boots that we just took off? There they are. Well, what happened to her gloves? I could have sworn I had some red gloves. And I don't remember giving them to anyone else. I thought I gave them to Shadowheart here to hold. Well, I must have done something with them. Maybe I put them in the stash? Up. We just got camp supplies. Right. Oh, we got to talk to Carlisle. 
So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. A soul coin? Aren't you afraid this is going to overload your engine? Got a coin slot in your heart or what? Soul coins are just that, though. They contain people's souls. I'm not sure you should be using them. Oh, that's a point. They're already lost. Better to be used in service of the good guys than a devil, don't you think? Next time we're in a nasty battle, drop one my way. You'll enjoy the results. Hmm. Intriguing. Next time we're in battle, I'll make sure you get one, or try it now. I want to see this in action, or I don't think we should spend soul coins for our own purposes. Well, what, what else are they for? I guess we'll say intriguing. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. All right, um... There are a number of places that are still darkened on the map. Especially this big one right here. I say we go explore that. We've got less than 10 minutes left. Chad is telling me to find Scratch. I don't know what that means. I mean, as I haven't found him yet, I don't know that I need to find him. So what I'll do is continue to explore the places I haven't been yet. And hopefully, we shall stumble upon this Scratch. Okay, this just brings us back to the crash site. So let's see, how would we get in here? Looks like we need to go down under this bridge in order to be able to explore this area over here. So let's do that. Unless we can hop up there. No, we can't, that's too far. Now hold on a tick. Karlak has an ability, right? Yeah, until long rest. Tears protection. Well, it looks like Not we can't do another bardic inspiration nice. with Bardi Horn. Can we hop up here? We can. This is how we get there. Cool. Dragon Edge Mushroom, Egg Mushroom, and a Ladder. Let's see, what's up here? Heavy chest. Uh. 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 Right, looks like that's it for that. Still have all of this to explore. Can we get down to this valley over here? I think we can, but not through here. We can't climb down there. So let's go around, I guess. Which might be tricky.
Oh, this is where we met Astarion, looks like. So, how to get down there? There is a path down there. Ah, here we are. Ooh, who He's are these so people? Pale. Stop it! You're scaring him! You're all right. You're all right. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. We could freeze and hold up our hands. Say, what happened to your friend? Pass a medica medicine check of plus one to say his wounds look deep, I might be able to help. Or an illithid and wisdom check of plus one to say, I go where I wish. Well, the best check we have is the medicine check. Gotta pass a 10. He's hurt badly, and the oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. We can try to block him out, we can hold his stare, we can move away, reaching for our weapon. Let's hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. We can't heal him? Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Uh... You're mistaken, I'm no true soul. Or true soul? Or explain this absolute to me. I think all three of these would get us in trouble if we're supposed to be a true, true soul. Perhaps you can help me, I'm looking for the druid Halzen. How do we have this dialogue option so late in, uh, after finding Halzen? Why are you here? The wilderness is dangerous. You need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Let's do number five. Why are you here? We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Uh, these fugitives, tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found at any cost. <clears throat> we could say you need to find the beast and avenge your brother or forget the owlbear. You're still alive, so go. Well, and, and just leave Ed. I suppose, I suppose he'd want us to go on, find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. All right, well, at least we didn't have to fight them. And in a way, I think we might have Spoke saved of the their absolute. lives. Absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazer. Curious. Goblins and humans worshipping the same god. Eerie common ground, if you ask me. Mind flayer specimen parasite. Hey, look at that. I get another illithid power. I'm glad we walked around a bit. Now let's see, called the weak, I believe that's what I have, and then I kind of wanted this one, Psionic Backlash. When an enemy within nine meters casts a spell, you can use your reaction to inflict 1d4 psychic damage to the caster per the spell's level. I really like that. The other was Force Tunnel, charge forward, pu pushing all objects and creatures in your path four meters away from you. Eh. 
Sacrifice half of your hit points to heal a target. Bardyhorn gets hurt more than anyone else. Psionic Overload, your attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage, but you take psychic damage every turn as well. I don't like any of those. We're going to go with Psionic Backlash. All right. That cave is the dark area. There's that dark area too. Well, let's explore the cave. Knowing this game, it's probably gonna be just an awful long dungeon. <laughs> God, I hope not. Let's save, just in case. Owl bear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Oh, it's the owl bear. Do we have time for a battle? No, we are over time. Is this a big nest or a small nest? Looks pretty small, and there's a statue in here. We might find some good loot. Owl bear nest. We'll have to do this next week. That's it for now. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for today's broadcast. We made a lot of progress, actually, uh, especially when it comes to <laughs> our standing with all of our companions, even the ones we weren't really interested in. Um, and uh, we made good plot progress as well. Looks like we need to finish up in this area before we end Act 1 and move on to the next section because we're still a little underpowered according to the game. So we'll pick up um, on Monday right here where we leave off and continue playing Baldur's Gate until Starfield lands. In which case we'll switch gears of course. But for the weekend, uh, I'm working on a lore video and I'm making great progress. Got some more progress I need to make tonight to see if I'm going to make it for the weekend. I think I will. Then for tomorrow, don't forget Scotch and Smoke Rings, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time. We're playing a really scary game called At Dead of Night. We had such a fun time with it last Thursday. I hope you'll be there at 7 o'clock to join us for an hour-long Q&A and then more At Dead of Night. Thanks to everybody on Facebook and on YouTube who joined me for today's broadcast. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.